Hey y'all, hope you're having a fantastic Friday. If you, hopefully you are able to hear me. Um, and uh, I am live in my studio, as you can see behind me, this is one of my paintings. Um, in case you don't know me, uh, I'm Paula Densall. I'm a contemporary artist and um, I create um, medium and large scale paintings um, more on the abstract side, but kind of lending themselves towards impressionism. Um, and today, what I wanted to do is just hang out with you a little bit and uh, paint and um, yeah, just hang out. Um, so um, trying to see if there's anyone in there if you if you're watching this live if you could um put a comment in the chat box um let me know if you can hear me or not if you can hear me uh type in a y and if you can't hear me <laughs> obviously you can't do that um but hopefully you guys can hear me <laughs> but um yeah so that's uh okay <laughs> um uh, normally what I when I do a live broadcast I do it from my phone but I wanted to try this with my laptop uh, to see um, if I like that better and this is my first time trying it with this setup so we'll see how it goes and um, anyways um, I am going to um, I've got a webcam here sitting up on my laptop and I'm going to be taking that and shifting it so that you guys can um, watch uh, me while I paint and we can chat back and forth. That way I can still see the, um, the chat uh, going on and um, I'm going to be painting on uh, this Bristol paper today um, while we're hanging out. But I wanted to see um, I'm going to just type in just do a, do a comment down here in case you guys can't even hear me I just want to see before I get started show that on the screen there can you hear me <laughs> hopefully so um but yeah so i'm going to just go ahead and get started um and you guys just pop in and out as you'd like and i'm getting a little sunshine in through here um i am in oregon and um this time of year the sun is pretty sporadic um and I didn't expect to actually <clears throat> have any sunshine here today. <laughs> and it's just like coming right in on my face. So that's kind of, I think I'm going to take that as a cue to go ahead and move the camera and put it down here. Oh, yay. Hi, Marjorie. You can hear me. Yay. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So um, Marjorie, where are you from? And uh, anybody else that's here live, if you could introduce yourself and uh, type in where you're from, that would be great. And I will periodically be um, looking at your comments and responding um, while I'm painting. I have my, my laptop right here next to my painting surface. Um, and hopefully I won't end up getting water on my laptop in the process of this. Um, I might have to kind of shift some more stuff around, so. Oh, awesome. Marjorie, you're from Canada. Cool. What part of Canada? Are you on the like British Columbia side or the other side's Quebec, right? I've been, I've actually been to Montreal and I've been to uh, Vancouver, British Columbia and Victoria. So um, I've been, I've been there a couple times. We did the, um, Let's see, I'm trying to think. We went to um, Victoria and then Vancouver in one trip. And then previously we had been, we were in, that's when we lived in Oregon, which we live in Oregon now. Um, and then back when we lived in Texas, we actually went over to the East Coast and went to Montreal. So cool. 
Cool. So you're over. All right. Awesome. So you're on the other coast <laughs> from me because I'm in Oregon. So awesome. Awesome. Glad you could join me live. All right. So hopefully this won't get you dizzy or anything. I am going to um, move my webcam so that you can see my my surface down here, my tabletop. And I'm going to try and do this as gently as I possibly can. Just try to, this way you can see my painting surface here. Um, all right, so um, I don't, um, I sometimes do work on paper, but usually it's just mainly for experimentation and studies. And so that's what I'm gonna do today because that those are easier for me to um, to work on while I'm talking at the same time. And I wanna be able to um, chat with you if you had any questions for me or, you know, or whatever. So, um, all right, so I'm just gonna get started. I like to start out with marks. I do this on can my canvases too, just guys are going to have a hard time seeing that because the whites are kind of like glaring it out there. So I might have to move, like turn my lights down a little bit because I'm wondering if you guys can even see the marks I just made on the surface here. I'm thinking you might not be able to. <laughs> if you can't see the marks on the surface right now, just um, type in the chat box and I'll try to, I'll go and adjust my lighting. That may be what it is. I've got a lot of light in here now. Um, like I said, I'm in the Pacific Northwest and this time of year, it's pretty gray out, not a lot of sunshine. So I decided in my art studio to get um, these daylight bulbs so that um, I would not have um, any issues in the winter time, the fall and winter time uh, with my lighting because it gets, gets dark here early um, in the winter, so it's uh, I needed more light. <laughs> uh, hey, Beth. Hey, girl. How are you doing? <laughs> like my jeans? <laughs> yeah, I um. Uh, as my jeans start to wear out, I end, they end up being recruited. I'm trying to walk to the other side. They get recruited to being my painting jeans. So I can just wipe the paint right on there. <laughs> so, yep. And uh, so I try to... Um, Sometimes I, I, I used to wear an apron and I do have painting aprons in here, but a lot of times I end up with paint on myself anyway. So I just started um, either taking what my older clothes and using them to, you know, when I'm basically as my work clothes or um, or like this, this top I have on. I got a really good deal on it on Amazon, and so I was like, well, I don't necessarily want to, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be like a regular top. If I end up with paint on it, no big deal. I didn't pay that much for it. I could always buy another one. So instead of, and, and like I saw you, Beth, said you have paint sweats. Um, and I found for myself, if I, like, am in completely grubby clothes, for me, and this is just for me, um, it just kind of affects my mood. So um, I decided I needed to have, I needed to wear clothing that made me feel good. Um, but at the same time, if I got paint on it, it wouldn't like bother me. Um, and so that's why I decided to like go on Amazon and find some cute little tops. And I love stripes. If any of you guys have been following me for a while, you know, I have a love affair with stripes right now. And um, I think I count, at last count, I think I have, I bought a couple of new ones. So I think I now have 16 or 17 um, 
uh, blouses in my closet that have stripes. And most of them are black and white stripes. There's a couple like this with like gray and black. And I think I have two. I think I have two navy blue and white striped shirts. So it's a thing for me. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys are. The first link went to Twitter. Oh, Victoria, the first link went to Twitter. Huh. OK. Um, yeah, one of the links. I think, yeah, goes to Twitter. I had one that was broken um, that wasn't working, and I thought I took that one down. Um, I don't want to try to stop and go over and mess with that right now because I'm I'm here with, with y'all right now. I'm trying. It's like my light's like so good now. It's like I feel like it's washing it out. Can you guys see what that looks like so far? So it's just me like running my mouth and working <laughs> so uh, covered up most of what was already there but that's fine because that is just more layers and more history so um, trying to find something so I can open this lid I usually I have a like grippy thing somewhere somewhere and I've lost track of it Oh, Oop, sorry about that. Knocked my <laughs> knocked my laptop there. Hey Amy, girl, how are you doing? Another person over there on the East Coast. Oh, good, Marjorie. I'm glad you can see. Cool. And um, for those of you just joining me, um, these are just this is just something I decided to just do this. Um, just kind of experimental. Um, sometimes I work on these paper. Um, hi, Jill. You're welcome. Um, normally I work on canvas. What I was trying to say. <laughs> Lost my train of thought there for a second. Normally I work on canvas. Um, and typically I don't work on paper. Um, and when I do, it's usually more for experimenting, um, doing studies like color studies, mark studies, um, experimenting with tools. And I just pulled that thing right off the, what is this called? Paper pad <laughs> with my tool here. <laughs> And it just went oh, went blurry there for a second. Oh, Amy, you, well, you're just going to have to go paint after this, aren't you? So Amy, Amy was saying that she makes her want to go paint. Good. All right. My goal was to see if I could actually like finish something in 15 minutes. Just go, okay, done. But eh, don't think that's going to happen. So So I, I know where Amy's from. Um, I know where Beth is from. Uh, Jill, where are you from? Beth, um, no, that's not China pencil. It's what is this? Um, it's it's a it's a graphite pencil. Um, you, I don't know that you'll even be able to see this, but I don't know if it'll come out backwards. But um, it's from General Pencil Company, and it's like a really dark um, black lead it's like a nine double xb see if i can show you that ah it's blurry sorry if i do this it's just like washing everything out so hi gail from california <laughs> how are you doing today Uh, Victoria from Vancouver, BC. 
Hi. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I, I was just telling um, Marjorie that I, um, earlier that um, I've been to Canada a couple of times. I'm in Oregon, in case you didn't know. Um, and it's been a while since I've been to Canada, but um, we've been talking about going to Whistler next year. We'll see um, if that happens. But um, I visited I visited Montreal many years ago before my son was born. And um, and then actually, I think it was before he was born as well. I, we visited uh, Victoria and Vancouver. And so my son actually hasn't been to Canada yet. So if we end up going next year, that'll be his first time. Um, Beth, what I, I'm assuming you mean this thing here. It's called a color shaper. Um, trying to remember where I got this. I think, think Blick Art Materials has it and Jerry's Artorama as well, I think. I think I've, I've got a couple of different ones. I think I've gotten them from both places, I believe, but it's called a color shaper. Let's see, that's what that looks like at this point. <laughs> Let's see. And I was going to put some more of the white back on here. Yeah, the pictures I've seen of Whistler, that it looks gorgeous. And I'm excited to, to go at some point. Um, we are in the midst of trying to... Um, um, gather together like skiing gear um, and my my son keeps outgrowing his we'll get some for him and then before we can get everything he needs he's outgrown half of it um, he's 14 now for any of you that have uh, known me for a while he is a freshman in high school now so that took some getting used to, and I'm still not 100% used to it. <laughs> New snow at Whistler now. Big, huh? Wow. We are uh, up in... Um, we live near, well, it's not near, I guess it's like an, a little over an hour away from Mount Hood in Oregon. So I'm in Portland. And they were saying this last weekend they were getting like a ton of new snow. So my husband is super excited to go skiing this year. Um, up there, he's already planning um, a trip for us in um, November, I think is what his plan was. Well, it is November. What am I thinking? Later this month. Gosh, time has just flown by. Dang it. Crazy. It's going to be Christmas. Blink my eyes. It's going to be Christmas. I was telling my son, I was like, now that you're older, time's going, by, going to go by a whole lot faster. Because it seems like just like a month or so ago, he was an eighth grader and now he's a high schooler. For me, that seems like it was that quick. It wasn't to him, but it was to me. <laughs> I'm just looking through y'all's comments to see. Um, oh, I answered that for you there, Beth. The, um, the stiff on the end uh, looks like a brush thing. Just trying to make sure I... Oh, there's another Paulette. Hey, girl! <laughs> okay, I think I addressed all the questions you guys had so far. I think, I think. All right. Yep, yeah, I think so. Sweet! All right. Oh, so this is just like, I'm going to have to call this beginning layers here because I definitely want to keep working on this. And I was going to try and keep this short. I didn't want to keep y'all a really long time. Um, but uh, 
trying to think what I want to do to it next. I want to kind of, this is uh, got some of these. I do not know how to pronounce that, but French pastels. <laughs> um, I'm, I took French when I was in high school, but a lot of it is kind of gone now. <laughs> I still sometimes I, I have retained enough French to um, be able to um, like some of the like, I guess, main words be able to understand them. But I ended up I get a lot of comments from people in other countries um, on like my Instagram, especially. And um, there's it, it usually doesn't show an option to translate it like with Facebook. So I ended up downloading the um, Google Translate app on my phone because I got tired of having to like um, type in the whole thing or copy get on my computer and go to Instagram and copy and paste it and put it in the Google Translate, you know, website thing. Amazing how I can paint and chat. <laughs> um, it's definitely not an easy task. Um, I, I, I used to teach. Um, te used to teach painting years and years ago before all the. I mean, I did it online before everybody was teaching online, um, and so I had to get accustomed to it. Um, and plus, when I'm when I'm painting and I'm talking, I'm not overthinking what I'm doing. I'm just doing. Um, and I find that sometimes it's that 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 can be a, um, a can be a good thing because sometimes, you know, as I, several of you I know know for know there are also artists. So, oh, bye, Amy. Just saw that you got to got to head out. Um, if you're still here. <laughs> bye. Um, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. I saw that and then I was like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, um, it was painting and chatting. But I don't remember where I was going with it. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I just saw your comment, Beth. Yeah, I, that's, oh, you still have your, the um, portrait you did in one of my classes? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I, I, I've had numerous people ask me why I don't still teach, and I found that, um, that I needed to focus on my own work. And when um, I was doing all the classes, I wasn't I wasn't painting for anything except for um, the classes. And I, and so, I mean, I, I realized that for that season, that's you know, that's what I was supposed to be doing. But then the time for that season was done and now I just paint. <laughs> And if um, and if you're wanting to learn how to paint, there are so many teachers out there online now. It's just it's it's bonkers. I mean, pretty much anything you want to learn these days, you can learn online. Pretty much just about anything, I think. So. Hey, Joy, you were able to join us. Awesome. Cool. 
Yeah, I actually have not used my brayer in a long time. Um, sometimes I've, I've been, I just kind of like cleaned out some of my studio to um, try and start getting rid of some stuff that I don't use anymore. And I uncovered this. <laughs> like, I wondered where that went. So I decided I'd try it out today because I used to use it a lot. Um, so um, with this piece, I'm just experimenting with different things. I've put, put some pastels on here, um, use the brayer, um, and just trying to just, you know, push paint around and basically just kind of like using this as more of a, like a, a, um, a, a mark making study. Um, color study and just to experiment and play um, because um, it helps me get out of my own head because my work is people ask me what are you thinking when you paint and in all honesty it's better if I'm not thinking when I paint <laughs> because my process is intuitive and thinking can interrupt that intuitive process and actually stop it so um, yeah, it's all about in, in, uh, being intuitive um, and feeling what needs to be next and, and putting the emotion in the work. Um, and when you are thinking too much, the emotion can be basically taken out of it. That's the only way I can think of to explain it. And um and I was, I said, I was reading something. What was it? I was reading something. I'm going to kind of get down here so you guys can see my face while I'm talking to you. Um, I was reading something. Uh, I think it was yesterday. There was an article. Um, I think it was a, it's a fellow artist that posted this. And it was a, um, it was a, an, a, an artist that I follow and I admire her work. Um, she was interviewed and she's an abstract um, painter as well and um, she equated abstract art which really even though I mean people usually say that it reminds them of flowers and gardens and landscapes and that's not um, and that's not really I don't set out to do that um, because I paint intuitively my surroundings and things I love just come out in my work. Um, but she said that really um, abstract art, you got to kind of, you really probably, the way to understand it really is you got to think of it more like instrumental music, you know, because music moves us, makes us feel things, um, it's connected to our emotions. And um, realistic, more realistic paintings are more like music with lyrics and abstract paintings are more like instrumental music without lyrics. So, and that made so much sense to me. And I think it's um, a good way for people to be able to um, relate to abstract work. So, all right. Oh, Joy, you, you have that problem where you, uh, I'm gonna, show that joy um yeah it's it's good um i like working on the paper because it's it's especially on the smaller scale it's just really easy to um to just work and not you know worry so much about it um and uh helps me get like i said it helps me not overthink things um and, uh, you know, as as an artist who, where I mean, my work is like I said, it's about emotion and aliveness. And and when I start overthinking, I mean, because there is some thinking towards the end, there is some thinking because I, I, I also. Um, look at the pieces when they're getting, um, you know, I'm starting to slow down working on them. Um, uh, I also look at the pieces. Uh, balance and flow and just evaluating them in that way so there is some thinking in that but at the same time that's something I do intuitively I'm I wasn't formally trained um, 
I didn't go to art school. Uh, so um, these are things, I mean, I've, I've learned them after the fact. I, I know them now because I've been exposed to them, being in the art world for as long as I have. But it's not, um, you know, color theory and form and line and, and all of those things, composition. Um, but um, it, it's, it's something that I, that I, don't, um, I don't think about it in the same way that um, it's, not, it's not linear. It's not logical necessarily. It's just an intuitive. It's a feeling. It's the, it's the only way I can really explain that. If that makes any sense to y'all. <laughs> All right. Um, goodness, let's see how long is it? Oh, I've been on here 30 minutes now. Okay. So um, this is, like I said, it's it's hard for me to see what um, this looks like to you guys because to me on my screen, it looks a little washed out because of, I have really, really bright light in here because as you can see, like behind me, this piece, this piece would look really dull in um, in like soft white light, you know, like the incandescent lighting that's typically on the homes. Uh, sorry, Kayla. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, y'all. Somebody rang our front doorbell and my doggie was in here with me. I think a package just got delivered. Um, so anyways, hopefully that didn't hurt y'all's ears. But anyways, what I was trying to say, I'm going to put this back up so that y'all can see the piece here behind me. Let the light adjust. Pull this down a little bit. Um, but... Uh, and it still, to me, looks a little washed out just because I don't know. Maybe it's my screen. But um, the um, the lighting in my studio was really like making the colors kind of on the duller side. And so I wanted to have more lighting, not just for it being, um, you know, the, win the winter time, coming up with the winter time here in the Pacific Northwest when there's not a lot of light outside, not a lot of natural light. Um, and uh, so I wanted to be able to see the true colors in my work um, because my work is very, um, very vibrant. And, um, you know, but like I said, in someone's home, depending on the lighting they have on it, it'll it, it changes the quality of the colors. Um, not really quality, I guess, but it just changes the, the hue, like the soft white light has that warm tint in it and it kind of dulls the colors a little bit I guess is the best way to explain it so but um try and see what that looks like this piece behind me is like the biggest piece that I've worked on to date and you guys can't even see the whole thing um it's two canvases um and each canvas is um 48 by 60 so together that is 96 by 60 and um, it's still in process. Um, it's it's there's been a lot of layers <laughs> added to this piece, a lot of paint. Um, and I've been working on it over the past few months, um, adding to it um, just about every every time I'm in the studio because uh, I do uh, tend to work on more than one um, painting at a time. I move from painting to painting, and that also helps me in my process to keep from overthinking stuff. Um, so, um, yeah, but anyways, well, thank you, Victoria. That's sweet. <laughs> um, I'm going to pull this up. I think I'm going to let this dry because if I keep working on it, it's going to probably, um, kind of just start smearing all together. I need to let it dry a little bit and, that's one thing I do when I'm working. I turn my work <laughs> because sometimes it can start out one way and then it I feel like something in me just tells me I need to need to turn it. Um, I've done that with the, these pieces. These started out complete 180 from the way they are now. Um, last time I was in the studio working on these, um, I had them like completely flipped 
So the, the top was the bottom and the bottom was the top. Um, and so I flipped them and they started feeling better to me. I guess that's the only way I can think of to explain it. I just, they felt, they just, it felt like that was the way they were supposed to be. So I left them that way and started working on them again. But um, I did say that I had a special thing for you guys that joined me live that I wanted to share with you. I've, I have um, announced this to my mailing list already. Um, Hi, Dorothy. Yay, I'm glad you could join me. Awesome. Cool. So, um, like I said, I said I had something special that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm going to turn this thing this way, trying to see <clears throat> how the lighting is, um, which is better. And I think it's going to just, I've got such a, um, I'm going to turn off some of these lights I have in here. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Shift some of this around. Maybe the glare. That's probably what was causing all that glare. All right. That's a little better. Okay. So like I said, I have something I wanted to share with you. I announced it to my mailing list um, this morning, actually. I think it was this morning. Yeah, it was this morning. <laughs> um, time has just flown by today. You know, when you have something planned that you're working towards and then you have all this other stuff you're trying to get done beforehand. Um, <laughs> anyways, I want to go grab this thing to show you guys. I'm going to move this out of the way because I do not want to get wet paint on this that I'm about to show you. Hopefully I don't have any on my hands. All right. So. For a long time, I have been having people ask me if I was going to do prints of my work. And uh, for years now, I've just been like, no, um, that's a lot of an undertaking. I've done prints before, back when I did figurative, whimsical work. And I sold my, my G-Clay printer um, and just got out of that altogether um, because it was, um, it was a huge undertaking. Um, but I have had a lot of requests and, um, so I have decided to start offering, um, prints of a few of my abstract pieces and it's only going to be the, um, the most popular ones. It, I'm not going to be offering prints of every single, uh, painting that I paint. So, um, this here was, is one of my most popular, uh, can't see if you guys can see it. One of my most popular pieces. It's kind of getting washed out, like I said. Um, and this was this piece is called Holding Heaven. And originally it was a 30 by 30 um, original painting on canvas. Um, and that 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 piece um, is already sold. And um, this is on. Um, it's a German. Um, art paper. Uh, it's like a three, 308 GSM. And for the life of me, that what that stands for right now um, escapes me. But this is an archival fine art artist paper. Um, and I know you guys can't see the detail in this from just this live video. But um, the, the detail in these prints um, is just phenomenal. I, I was amazed. Hi, Terry. <laughs> um, I was amazed um, when I ordered these um, test prints um, at the quality uh, of the um, of the print itself, um, the paper and the detail that came through. I had um, my uh, this painting uh, photographed by a local uh, professional fine art photographer. Um, that specializes in this sort of thing, and um, and I have had been on I've been on the hunt for a couple of well probably about a year now, um, uh, trying to find someone that um, could print these for me, uh, that could uh, I'm just trying to see it's like trying to show more of it um, that could sorry I'm just gonna adjust this again. 
roll down so maybe you guys can see more without me having to put it all the way up in front of my face I'll tippy toe um, but this is the 24 by 24 and I'll be selling them unframed um, starting tomorrow and they'll be available for a week um, I, like I said it's going to be a limited time release um, because um, uh, I, I, I you know I want to um, do the release and then um, fulfill all the orders at once and and then um, the basically the cart will shut down and they'll basically go back in the vault kind of a thing I guess is the best way to put it um, but then I've got also um, this is uh, that's the largest size the 24 by 24 is the largest size I'm gonna offer and then I'll have the 20 by 20 as well and then I'll also have um, a 14 by 14 um, uh, print size as well so it will be three different sizes to choose from and I'm super excited that I'm gonna be offering these uh, guys um, and um, like I said they'll be unframed and it'll be three sizes and they will go live on my website tomorrow um, as of right now there is a um, there is a section in my online shop for prints but right now it's empty um, because I haven't made the print listings live in my shop yet so um, but I'm super excited to be able to do this like I said I, I've had a lot of requests for these um, and I'm, I'm happy to be able to offer these to everyone um, like I said for a limited time and um, yeah, so um, and, and I've, I've had a few um, artist friends over who have looked at them and they they were amazed at, you know, the the repro you know, how they've been reproduced. So I'm super excited about those. And um, I'm going uh, I was going to say I'm going to put down here um, I'm going to put my website here in. Just, I'm trying to do this like that's my website and then I'm also going to try to um, put it in the comments so it's clickable um, and so will be available okay morning and they're only going to be available for a week so they'll be available starting Saturday morning the 11th um, and then they will be available through the following Saturday the 18th of November um, I'm gonna just do it for a shop because that's where they'll be um, and that's the takes a takes a few seconds for it to come through there where did it go there it is so and then there's the the address for my shop if you guys are would want to check it out um, I know there's a lot of people that were going to watch the replay because they couldn't join me live um, but just wanted to put that up there and I'm going to leave that in the comments there so that everyone can see that uh, later like I said on the replay and I um, am planning to try to do um, some kind of live broadcast um, uh, kind of regularly I'm hoping to do another one next week I'm gonna have to wait and see what my schedule is like next Friday but um, I, I like this time on a Friday because um, it's like after I pick my son up from school and it's kind of that in-between time he doesn't have homework that he has to get to right away and whatnot so um, if I'm gonna do this next week hopefully I'll be able to do it at the same time so um, thank y'all so much for joining me and um, I hope you enjoyed this little peek into my process um, and uh, I hope you guys have a lovely weekend and hopefully I'll see you next time. I'm going to sign off now. Bye.